welcome to the another video of online class let us fight against corona stay home stay safe save lives in the previous video we have learned about translational and rotational motion in this video we'll discuss about moment of a force or torque before that we have to know what is turning force the force which when applied at a point of a fixed body and rotates the body about the fixed point is called the turning force okay once again i am telling when there is a force is applied at a point of a fixed body and the body rotates about that fixed point then the force is called as a turning force then the turning effect of a body by a force depending upon two things the first one is magnitude of the force applied and the second one is distance of line of action of the force from the axis of rotation okay the first one is which one magnitude of the force applied on the body and second one is distance of line of action of the force from the axis of rotation okay we'll discuss about this now moment of force the turning effect of the force acting on a body about an axis is called the moment of force otherwise it's called as torque it is a vector quantity how to measure the moment of force the moment of force is measured as the product of the force and the perpendicular distance of the point of application of the force from the axis of rotation let us explain this one let us consider a body suppose o is the pivot point or it is known as fixed point and a force f is applied on the body in this direction then the body the body has to be moved in the anti clockwise direction the moment of force can be written as this is symbol tau is equal to force multiplied by perpendicular distance from the point o so here there is a force is acting on this direction and the perpendicular distance means op is the perpendicular distance so we can write tau is equal to force f and multiplied by the distance op then units of moment of force unit of moment of force can be calculated by multiplying the unit of force and unit of distance the si unit of moment of force or torque is written as newton multiplied by meter or symbolically it can be written as capital n small m and the cgs unit is dyn multiplied by centimeter 1 newton meter is equal to 10 to the power 5 dyn multiplied by 10 to the power 2 centimeter or otherwise we can write 1 newton meter is equal to 10 to the power 7 dyn centimeter the gravitational units of moment of force are in m case kgf multiplied by meter in cgs gf multiplied by centimeter 1 kgf meter is equal to 9.8 newton meter and 1 gram per centimeter is equal to 980 dyne centimeter then we will discuss about clockwise and anti clockwise moments anti clockwise moment 
if the effect on the body is to be turn it anti clockwise the moment of force is called the anti clockwise moment when we apply a turning force and the body is moving in anti clockwise direction then that type of moment is known as anti clockwise moment it is taken as positive remember this one the direction of anti clockwise moment is along the axis of rotation but outwards then clockwise moment similarly if the effect on the body is to turn it clockwise then moment of force is called the clockwise moment it is taken as negative the direction of clockwise moment is along the axis of rotation but inward remember the anti clockwise moment is positive and the direction is along the axis of rotation and outward but clockwise moment is taken as negative and that direction is along the axis of rotation but inwards applying a force on a pivoted body its direction of rotation depends on two things the first one is the point of application of the force and the second one is the direction of force you see the first one if you change the application of force the point of application of force then on a pivoted disc then the rotations should be different let us consider the first case when on to a disc we apply a force f in on side a then it will rotate in anti clockwise direction and taken is positive when force is applied tangentially at the point b the body will be rotated in clockwise direction and it is taken as negative but by changing the direction of the force also it can be anti clockwise or clockwise let us consider an axle and it is the axis of the axle when you apply a force in this direction it will be rotated in anti clockwise direction when you apply a force tangentially to that normal to the excel in this direction then it will be rotated in the clockwise direction then some common examples of moment of force to open or shut a door to open or shut a door we have to apply a force on the handle of the door and by applying the force normally to the handle of the door it can be rotated in clockwise direction and by applying the force on the other direction it can be move in anti clockwise direction then the next one is for turning a steering wheel a force is applied tangentially on the rim of the wheel see here if you apply a force tangentially on the bottom of the wheel it can be turned in anti clockwise direction but when you apply a force on the top of the rim of the wheel then it can be rotated in a clockwise direction the next one we can say in a bicycle to turn the rear wheel so what you have to do in a bicycle to turn the rear wheel anti clockwise a small force is applied on the foot pedal of a two third wheel of size bigger than the rear wheel so that the perpendicular distance of the point of application of force from the axle of the wheel is large the two third wheel is joined to a rear wheel by a chain through their tooth the next one a spanner used to tighten or loosen a nut here there is a nut and there is a spanner if you apply a force on the handle of the 
spanner then on upward direction the knot can be move in anti clockwise direction if you apply a force on on the handle from the above then it can be rotated in a clockwise direction thank you in next video we'll discuss about couple